everybody. In this video, we're going to create a login. Um, we're going to create a login form that will allow us to set up a username and a password uh, to allow the end user to actually log into the uh, system. So to start with, we've got a few components that we've got to cover here. So to begin with, we need to create a very simple table that will hold our user IDs and our passwords. So with access open, we'll go to the create tab and we're going to choose table. And we'll save this as login table. We'll select OK. We'll switch over to design view. And the first item will be login ID. We'll leave it as an auto number. And then we're going to have username. Which will leave as a short text and password. Also as a short text, and we'll save it. Okay. That's all we need for the table. So we need to put a little bit of information here. And unlike the other um, tables and forms that we've created in the system, we are going to enter information on this login form directly into the table. So we'll flip back over to data sheet. And for the username, you just put in your first name. And then for a password, we'll keep this really simple, one, two, three. And you can add, add as many users, uh, usernames and passwords as you like. And we'll save that. Okay, and we can close it. Okay, so now we've got to create two forms. One form is going to be our home page. This is what will open once the username keys in the uh, their, uh, the appropriate username and the password will open up to its own page, and then they'll have buttons to select from whether they're going to an invoice module, a customer form, an employee form, or whatever modules you happen to have built in your information management system. So we'll start by creating a simple form. Go to create, and let's just try form design here. There we go. Just need form design. We're not importing anything. We're just going to create something. Um, manually. So while we're on the design tab, we're going to go to title. And we'll put in the title for our form. We'll call this advanced electronics homepage. Okay. And you can set up, go to the format tab. And of course, you can Set your font colors and your background colors to so however you may have uh, begun to set things up. Okay, now I'm going to just flip it back to form view now. And we're just going to save this. We're going to call this home page all lowercase, no underscores, nothing, home page. Now, this will be the form, as I mentioned, when the, um, the user opens up the software and they come to a login form and they enter in the username and the password, we'll bring them to this page, and we will later add buttons onto this page that will take the user to the various forms and modules that you've built inside your system. So for now, let's close this. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to create a form for the login page. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we're going to create. We're going to use form design. We will insert a title. Okay, for company name. Okay, give it a quick format. I'll click here and fill in the background. Go and the body. Okay, now we're going to save this as login form. Oh, 
Okay, so now we've got to start to program this. So we're going to go up to the top, we're going to go into design or form design, depending on what version of Access you're on. And we're going to want to choose, the first option we're going to choose is text box. Select that. And we'll drop it here. Okay, and we're going to label it first. Call this username. And you can format it at the same time if you like. Okay. And then we're going to go over to the unbound box. And we have to be on the all tab. And this is important. Under the name row, we're going to want to go in here, backspace this out, and we're going to type in user, user one. It's very important that you name it that way. Okay, user one. We're going to save. Okay, and then click anywhere off of the uh, field. Then go back to design and select the text box again. Put it anywhere underneath here. And starting with the left box, we're going to name the label call it password. Format the color. And then click, carefully click on the unbound box to the right. And again, from the property sheet. Now, if you don't happen to see this property sheet, if it's not showing up um, from the design tab here, you click on design and you'll find the tap for your property sheet right over here. So we can select that. Make sure that this unbound box is highlighted and you're on the alt tab. And we're going to call this pass one. Okay. And then we're going to click off and we're going to save. Okay. So now we've got our two fields in there. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to put in a, a button here. Uh, that will actually activate um, the sign-in. And we're going to program uh, this button to work using VBA, which is a VBA code, which is Vis Visual Basic Applications. So from the Design tab, we want to select the Button tab. That's the fourth one over. Oh, and we'll just draw a button on here. Okay, when this command buzzer uh, command button wizard shows up, just cancel that. And we're not going to use that here. And we're going to right click on it now. We're going to choose build event. Okay, now we've got some options here. There's a macro builder, an expression builder, and a code builder. We're going to select the code builder here. Okay, and now you're going to be taken to a a VBA screen to write your code. So you want to make sure that your cursor is flashing right underneath the uh, private sub. Now it's going to be important that you follow these steps absolutely precisely. Um, where I say space, hit a space, where it's a comma, it's a comma, and a comma, and so on. Um, and, you know, refer to this video and, you know, if you can't get it to function your first, your first time out, that's okay. Rewind it or you know, back the video up and start from the beginning and try it again. But I think if you follow along, there's not too many commands here. You should be okay. So we're going to type in if space pass one, because what we're doing here is we're putting in a um uh we're putting in an if statement. So if the password and the username are correct, we're gonna instruct the button to open up a specific page or home page. If not, we're going to have some give the um, the end user some kind of an error message so that they know they've done something wrong. All right, then we'll hit our space bar once, type in the equal sign, and hit our space bar once more. Okay, then we're going to put in a command. It's like a VLOOKUP for Excel, but uh, in VBA and Access, it's called a DLOOKUP. So we'll start to type in DLOOKUP. Okay, do you look up, open parenthesis. Okay, now open, we're going to open quote. We're going to type in the word password, quotes, okay, comma, space. Now we want to put in our login table. Now we have to be very careful that we spell it exactly the way 
that we saved. So I'm just going to open up my system for a moment. And you can see we put in login underscore table. So we have to identify it exactly like that in our code or the code's not going to recognize it because this is what we want to open or what we want to refer to in our lookup rather. So we'll type in login, well, quote first, quote marks, login underscore table and end quotes. Okay. Followed by a comma. Then hit your space bar one time. Another set of quotes. We're going to type in username. Okay. Equal sign. Okay. Dash or apostrophe rather. Quotes. So quote username equal sign. Okay. Apostrophe quote. Then hit your space bar once. The then the and symbol. Your space bar one more time. Open square bracket, bracket rather, and then user one. That's the um, the unbound box field of the uh, the username that we named it. Okay. Close square bracket. Space. The and symbol again. Space. Quote. Space. And then we want apostrophe and quotes and then finally closing parenthesis okay for that entire string okay so d lookup open parenthesis quotes password quote comma space post or uh, quotes login underscore table quotes comma space quote username equals apostrophe quote space and symbol space open square bracket user one closing square bracket space and symbol space quote space apostrophe quote and then closing parenthesis okay then hit our space bar one time and we'll type in the word then and then hit your enter key once and now we're going to put in a command we're going to ask it to do something if these things in fact are correct and in access in the VBA we put in do command but it's C M D okay period and now you're going to see if you've typed in the do command correctly the code for it you'll see this little menu pop up so what we wanted to do is open a form <clears throat> so we'll start to type in open uh, form and then since you put the F there you'll see the open form option come up so we'll double click on that Okay, so we've got open form. Then we're going to hit our space bar. And which form do we want it to open up? Well, we want it to open up our home page. That's quote, home page, end quote. Now, just to be double sure that we're, we've entered that incorrectly, if we go back to our system, that home page. Uh, whoop, I'm looking at the wrong system here. Yeah, we set up our home page form all lowercase home page so that is correct okay and that's home page okay then we'll hit enter and then we'll hit enter one more time and we'll type in else okay so if that is incorrect hit enter again and then again and we're going to put up a message box msg o x we'll hit enter quotes Enter, and then we'll type in error, username, or password, in quotes. Enter, enter, and if, and enter. And that is it for the code. So just to um, go back over this again to explain what it is that we're doing, um, we're putting in an if statement, we're coding this in. So if the password in the DLOOKUP in password um, is correct in the login table, as well as the username that can be found in user one, then the command that we want to have happen is to open the form called 
home page. Okay. Otherwise, or else, we want a message box to show up that says "Air username or password." Okay. We're going to select save, and we're going to close it. And close our VBA. There we go. Now we're going to save this form. Okay. Now let's close the form. Okay. Let's go to our login form now. And let's key in our first name that we set up. Tab down to the password. Put in the password. Hit this button. And you can see it's taken us right to the home page. So the code has worked correctly. You see, I got my login form and my home page. So I'm going to close this for a moment. But I do want to rename this. So I'm going to go back to Design View. And I'm going to call it log in <laughs> i will format this make it a little larger there we go maybe change the color on it okay. Let's save this, go back to form view, and there we are, we are all set. So I'm gonna save this and close the login form for now. Now the last thing I wanna show you is how to, how this is going to look, sort of the final version of it. So I'm gonna open up my home page, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on our first button so that the end user can actually access one of the modules or the forms that we've created. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Design View, and we're going to choose Button from Designs right here. And we're just going to draw a button on here. It doesn't matter what size it is for now. Okay. Our Command Button Wizard will show up. And let's go to Form Operations. And what we want to do is we want it to open a form. Okay, so we'll choose Next. And here's a list of all of our available forms. So let's make the first one that we're going to uh, use be the customer form. And by the way, this process that we're using would be exactly the same process for opening any of the forms that you've built within your information management system. We'll go to Next. So we want to open the form and show all the records. Go Next again, and the text will be, we just want to call it customer form. which is next. We're going to leave this alone, that command to button. That's just a name of the actual function in the background. So we'll just leave it alone and select finish. And now we've got our customer form here, our button. And I'm just going to make this a little larger. And then I'm going to format it. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to close it. Okay, so with everything closed, let's try everything right from the beginning. Let's go to our, our login form, key in our first name, put in our password, select login. Now it's taken us to our home page. Let's click on customer form, and it's opened up our customer form. We've had buttons here. We can go to the next record, previous record, print. So everything's all set and everything is starting to now come together. So I'm going to close this. Yeah, I'm going to close this. I've got to add some buttons on here, of course. Close this. But I also want to show you one last thing here. Remember, when we coded in the code, we put a message box in there um, in case there was an error. So let's test that. So open this back up. I'll put in my name. And then let's say I make a mistake on the password. Put in 145, hit login. Okay, here's that message box that you programmed in here. Error, username, or password. So this is telling the user they've made an error somewhere. So that's functioning as well. Um, at any time that you want to take a look at your code again, um, if you wanted to repeat it on some other form, all we need to do is go into the tab. We select Design View, and you want to do this very carefully. You'll just click once on the login button. 
right click, choose build event, and there's the VBA code that you put in. Okay, so it's always there in the background if you ever wanted to uh, go back and take a look at that. Close that. Close that. And close my phone. There we go. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Once again, take your time, go through each step very methodically. Um, one line at a time, one space bar at a time, you know, one comment at a time, um, and follow all the steps, pause the video as often as you need or rewind it or whatever you need to do and take your time and, um, you should be able to get, uh, through that. So thanks for joining me and, um, we will see you on the next video. Bye now.